everyone. Welcome to uh, a special edition episode. It's 4th of July, and I figured I would bring out uh, Europa Universalis 4, where you can start in during the American War of Independence uh, on July 4th, 1776. So, I've never done this start before, actually. Um, you know, you, I'm going to be playing as the United States. Uh... It's a fledgling nation, just started, um, and is significantly weaker, I believe, than uh, Great Britain. American ideas are, you start off with an extra merchant, and religious unity is up 20%. I don't think any of that will matter. Maybe the religious unity, the merchant, will give us some more money, but we're going to be blockaded anyway, so that's not going to really be helpful. Continental Congress is, is our leader. Uh, you can see question mark, question mark, question mark. I don't know if that just means uh, it's random and we don't know what it is now. Uh, tech is at 27. I think the max is 33. So we're almost at max tech already. We're the same tech with everyone else in the Western world. Uh, you can see we have 56 provinces. Great Britain has 69. Someone called Northern Lion. <laughs> uh, 201 development. 681 development. So, yeah. Great Britain's developed their country a lot more than the United States. So, I'm just going to do this episode. We're going to jump right in. Uh, we're going to play as the United States and see how this goes. Let's do this. So, to let you know, I am not running with all of the DLC. I am only running with, like, about half of the DLC. I have, uh, I have the Wealth of Nations DLC. I have the DLC that allows you to play as the Native Americans in uh, North America. The, uh, or the Native Americans in, uh, in uh, the United States and, and um, Canada. Uh, that's great. Uh, see, Rebels, great. American, per ridiculous. They're like, why are we breaking away from the, from the, uh, the country? That uh, seems ridiculous. We have three cavalry. They have three infantry and two cavalry and a cannon. This seems like a bad fight. Uh, we, might, we might retreat these guys down to... Um, here and send up those guys. Let's talk about the DLC again. Okay, so we have, uh, we only have a few. We have Wealth of Nations. We have, oh, what was it called? I think this was actually all Wealth of Nations. Wait, no, Wealth of Nations was that. What was this DLC called? I can't remember. Dang it. The latest one was uh, the, the uh, Common Sense. I don't have that, and I don't have El Dorado, and I don't have, um... Oh, what was the other one? Uh, Art of War. So I don't have any of those. But I didn't know that Common Sense added forts to the game. Like, they they made the forts better. Or a little bit more interesting, I should say. So we have... How many forts do we have? We have we have one in Philadelphia. Uh, another one in, in Boston, Massachusetts. I believe that's supposed to be Boston over there. Maybe Boston's down here. I don't know. We have one in... We have one in... in um, uh, Massachusetts... We have another port here in Taiko de Daroga. Oh, man. I'm going to get so much crap for not knowing that one. <laughs> I can't pronounce that. Taikon Daroga. Oh, I know that. Th Taikon Daroga. Okay, I know how to pronounce that. I'm being dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know that one. Uh, I swear. We have we have a few forts. Uh, we don't have very many. Um, and they're not probably protecting very much. Let's see. Can we see protection? We can't seem to find if there's protection. There's loot. Oh, they added a loot bar. Our country's at war with Great Britain, right? We're at war with Great Britain? Yeah, Great Britain, you suck. You suck, Great Britain. Negative 200, that's right. We need to find allies. <laughs> that's the first thing we're going to do. Since we're at war, we want to talk to France. Hey, France, why do you hate us? Uh, let's look at our uh, what we can do. We got a bunch of reformed here. That we could try to convert. Our religious unity is 106, so we're not getting extra revolt risk. Do we have revolt, revolt risk in those uh, country or those counties? Provinces, rather. Uh, New Hampshire is one. So where is that? Right there? What? What? Oh, we have we have quite a bit of... Uh, uh, yeah, we have quite a bit of unrest. I don't think we can handle converting people and taking on and trying to fight off these uh, rebels while we are engaged with the war with Great Britain. I don't think that's a reasonable thing to do. We're not going to bother converting, I think, right now. 
as you can see, we've got pretty high revolt risk in some of our provinces. That's pretty bad. Kennebec, Pittsburgh. Uh, I don't like. I don't like this. I don't like this look. What's what's going on here, game? We could pick up the production efficiency guy, but I'm. I really wish there was a lo uh, a guy who lowered revolt risk. We get the better relations over time guy. How are we doing on money? We're doing fine on money. I don't. Are, are we maxed out our? Uh, yep. Uh, we're gonna pick up this uh, morale of army guy. Army's guy. We have the money. We'll pick him up. And want at least one guy like that. That's for sure. Uh, minus two. What the hell? Eight generals. What the crap? Benjamin Lincoln, Nathan Daniel Green, Charles Lee. I bet you these are all historically uh, historical uh, figures. Uh, I, I recognize a lot of them. Benedict Arnold. I I know Thaddeus. Cor I don't know that one. I think that might be. Um, Thaddeus Kosciusko, I, I, that might be someone, I don't know. I don't know that one. Anthony Wayne, I know. George Washington, I know. Horatio Gates. Charles Lee, I know. Nathaniel Green, I know. Benjamin Lincoln, I don't. Let's look at it. We have eight light ships. I don't think we're going to be able to do much with our ships because I'm pretty sure Great Britain has a lot of ships. So we got Great Britain has 74,000 troops. The United States has 26,000. We're, we're currently being attacked. We have 25. We have very little manpower. Why are we at war? Why did we decide to go, hey, we're going to go to war right now? That seems like a dumb idea. Oh, man. I'm already thinking that I need to get rid of this guy, though, because he has one military skill. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, man. If, if, if revolt risk becomes an issue, we might have to... Uh, um, we might have to raise autonomy in some places. We don't have any of this cord. Why do we have none of this cord? Hold on. This is not cord land? Well, no wonder there's so much unrest. What What the heck have I been doing all this time? <laughs> oh man, come on, United States, get your, get your shit together. Okay, so what we need is a big stack. Basically, our goal here is to wait for um, let's see, what's, what's the goals? What are the conditions that... Defend capital. Phil, Philadelphia? Really? Philadelphia is our capital? No, a bad capital. We may get events as the game goes on. That is another thing that might happen. Uh, we can already make some national decisions. Uh, okay, hold on. Okay, okay. Back up. Start again. I think we need more manpower. I think that's where we're going to stick our money, is in the more manpower. So we'll build one... Um, one... Barracks. Some. Mm. I wonder if we have a march there. That's a lot of manpower that we'll gain. I think we have to put it there. So, yeah, we're going to build it here and hope that we can take on these particulists before they destroy that. Uh, this is what? This is a uh, core. We need to make the all these things cores. How much overextension do we have? 20%, not much. Uh, so let's make core, make cores. So we can almost take care of everything. We're just missing eight more. So next month we'll be able to core White Mountain. That'll be it. Prove our prestige, colonize Gabon, conquer Onida. Where's Onida? Oh, it's the Iroquois. We're not going to take any... We're going to take this mission and hope that we can win some battles. That's what we're going to do. Uh, is there any policies we want to add? Um, anything that... This would be good, actually. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll take, we'll take the Public Welfare Act. Because it will lower unrest. And we desperately need that. So we'll take that. Yep. Uh, what else is there? There's uh, a bunch of trade stuff, it looks like. Light ships, that that would be good, but we're at war. Oh, man, that, that is actually kind of tempting. The increasing, like, lowering light ship costs and making a shit ton and re increasing their combat ability would be useful for hunting down 
transports, actually. That would actually be really good for hunting down transports. Because then if, if, if you could fu you go in, do damage to their transports, be and, and try to do damage to their transports before their big fleet shows up, and then when their big fleet shows up, run away, or it gets close, run away. And basically do as much damage as you can to their transports. That's the goal. Let's take this. And those are the two, two policies we'll have. Now let's look at the national ideas we can come up with. So this one, uh, missionary strength, tolerance to heretics. I'm not going to take that one because, like I said, I'm not going to bother um, uh, our, nas our national, uh, let's see, what is it called? Religious unity is fine, even with these provinces being uh, not Protestant. So, and we don't want to create more unrest. And that's what the tolerance to he of heretics would do, increase unrest. Uh, so there's this one, which increases the tolerance of heretics. That's actually not bad. We'll take that one. Missionary, that, there's no reason not to do that one. Uh, national tax, ability cost modifier. Mm, let's hold off on that one for now. So, let's see. This one, again, no. That's the same thing, right? I'm, okay. What's this one? Increases tax modifier and decreases stability cost modifier. Hold on. That's a two to one ratio. We we could gain one percent national tax modifier and lose three percent stability cost. We take both of those. Hmm, I'm contemplating it. Yep, let's just take both. There. <laughs> That's decided. I think increasing autonomy here is a good call. Now, the reason why you would normally not want to increase autonomy is because you'd want to be able to collect as much money. Because I think, let's see, what are the negative effects of autonomy? You can see trade, production, manpower, basically all the things you need in order to win a war money and people gets lowered. However, it's very costly to have to continuously fight rebels. So, I think we're just going to raise autonomy in some of these locations. So we're just going to raise autonomy in like everywhere in all these locations. So there, we've raised autonomy in those locations. We'll eventually probably have to raise autonomy here and all these other places. But I think that's just what we have to do in order to get by. Um, let's call it Solidate some of our armies, shall we? Uh, let's see. We'll combine these three. Or um, you go up there as well. Um, maybe we'll actually consolidate into two. Uh, go there. Actually, you two go up there. Uh, you get out. Oh, we can't run away. Uh, let's go try to reinforce. Let's see if we can reinforce with those guys. We've got 16 infantry, 7 cavalry, and 3 art. That's a really low amount of artillery. Oh, boy. If we ever get any force limit and we get some extra manpower... We may decide to build more artillery. That's a very small amount of artillery, to be perfectly honest. Let's send a leader up there. Let's send, uh, let's send, um, George Washington. Why are you should be better, I think. Uh, let's see. We'll send up, send Benedict Arnold to go take care of that. Uh, this will be led by George Washington, I th think. Yeah, George Washington's pretty good. We have no... I don't think we have any uh, admirals. We don't have any admirals. We just have generals. They're pretty good, though. They're not bad. They're really good. How's this going? How's this fight going? It's not going good, that's for sure. Look at all that crap. <laughs> Look at all this junk. What is all this? Accepted... Oh, man. This is uh, crazy. Okay, we need to... That's the thing we need to do. We need to sign up for... Uh, we're not going to be colonizing right now, that's for sure. Uh, let's see. I just looked up here and saw that we had a colonist. It's only been two days! <laughs> let's look up some friends, shall we? 
France, be my friend. Why won't you be my friend? I need a friend right now. You've got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. We're making money. Oh, we should look at the train map mode. <laughs> I'm just gonna be right clicking on these every once in a while. This is so little. I am ranked 15th with a total of two score. Uh, what, what are our scores? Administrative uh, is 16th, diplomatic is 10th, and military is ranked is 9th. That's great. With France as our ally, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get many other people on our side. Which sucks. Spain would be a good ally. I think what we'll do is we'll improve relations with uh, both France and Spain and just see who we get first. Let's let time flow. Why is there a movement locked? Oh, right. That was a... Oh, no! I got wiped out? Oh, no! Let's send you there. Let's send you, all of you, all the things. Send all the things. Too few men to do the siege. Okay, well, that's fine. We could try to uh, sortie, can't we? Where's the sortie? There it is. I want to try this just to see how it works. Oh, we have to spend 10 military power. We don't have very much. We're taking some heavy losses. Oh, I can't believe we lost a three stack. That sucks. We're losing money. How are we losing money? Is it because of troop reinforcement? Partially. Man, that sucks. Yep, yep. Oh, we got some troops. Uh, let's see. Who's this guy? We need George Washington. George Washington's fast. We'll send him. George Washington, go, go kill those British. Go kill the British. Go, George Washington. I believe in you. Be okay, okay. Louisville has come under... That was fast? Mmm, this sucks. We're losing money. Aw, oh, man. What did we do to make us lose money? I think there was, like, some calculation. The game was like, nope, you were losing money now. Uh, we might have to get rid of some of these guys. Like, this guy we'll get rid of. Yep. This guy we'll get rid of. Yep. This guy. We're only going to use, like, three generals at most. We can only have one right now. Say bye-bye to Nathaniel Green. I love his name, though. Benedict Arnold is way better than Thaddeus. Uh, Anthony Wayne. These three are pretty much even. And I feel like Benedict Arnold's better than George Washington as a general in the game. I don't want to hear any George Washington haters out there telling me otherwise. So, uh, yeah, we'll just drop these two. We just need to, we need to, we need to, we need to keep them. We need, we need points. We need points desperately. Okay. It, I'm going to have to start paying more attention. British, you're going down. I'm going to kill you with my eight stack. We see any more troops? I don't see any more troops showing up. We're going to run them over. Oh, man, we just obliterated that stack. That stack, we only lost 165. They lost 3,000. That's great. That was a great victory. Let's go take our back our, um, let's go, uh, actually, uh, uh, split, split, and we'll go take that back. So we took back, we took back Louisville. That's good. Uh, next building slot unlocked at 20 development. Okay. We're going to move our troops there, and we're going to move these troops here. Oh boy, there they are. Those are those are the troops. Them's the troops. Where are they landing? They're landing in uh, Castine. They're landing here. We're coring that right now. We might as well cancel that core. Uh, we might as well put this core back. Oh, we already did. They're not there though. Wait, did it start back up when we uh, when we took it? I don't remember saying yes to that. Oh man, we need to bring more troops. We need to bring. Okay, we can't. We can't. We can't be doing this. We need to go. We need to go back. We need to come back. Oh man, <laughs> the British are coming! Let's go! Let's go! We gotta stop them! We can't stop that navy though. That navy's <laughs> that navy's fine. There's nothing we can do about that. Um, okay, we might as well mothball. We might as well get rid of the heavies. That would solve our money problem, wouldn't it? Let's just drop our heavies. What are our heavies gonna do? Just get rid of them. There's no way we're stopping the British navy. So it's been half a year. Uh, half a year. Uh, we fought some British troops, but the main British army is landing in, uh, in Maine. Um, they, they can't get past this point. 
So we can send troops here or over to Rhode Island. We can send troops to Rhode Island to prepare to engage the British troops. So let's start heading in that direction. Who, 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 who are we friendly with? Who's friendly with the United States? Nobody. Nobody likes us. I think we're going to be able to take, like, we're going to be able to stack wipe that group um, without taking too many losses. They don't have any artillery. Oh, that's going to be great. Okay. We're going to be fine then. We're bringing three artillery. They're going to have none. Bring this together. Benedict Arnold, you're going to, you're up. Benedict Arnold, go take care of that. Let's go take on the British. I will cross a river. But I think I can take them on. Here's hoping. This fight is not going well, or was, and it's going, there it goes, there, we turned it. Yeah, look at that death, look at all that death. How, okay, let's look at this. We lost, uh, mm, we lost quite a bit. Let's go try to stack wipe it though. Where are they running off to? Oh my God, are they gonna run all the way over to there? That's so far. Son of a bitch. God damn it. <laughs> oh, it sucks. Go over there. Just get over there. Freaking people. Oh, they're going. Oh, I see where they're, they're going over here. Okay, that's not nearly as far. I take it. I take half of what I said back. France, are you better? Can we become allies now? No. Why not? Oh, it looks like they're going to go all the way over here. All the way to Detroit. All the way. All the We got our territory back. How's our war score going? Two, what? We got plus one for battles. We're beating the, we're beating the British. We're beating them. This is what we'll do. We'll sit in here. Uh, and we'll wait for them to either approach from this side or from this side. Um, hopefully. Oh man, I'm worried about them combining their armies though. Oh man, what's the supply limit here? We'll suffer attrition as we go th march through that land, though. That's why I don't want to do it, to hunt the army. But I think I have to. Because I need to just stack wipe, that, stack, st stack wipe that army. So we have less manpower than Great Britain, because Great Britain can re re replenish their manpower a lot faster than us. Oh man, this sucks. Why are we not at war with these guys? That's what I'm confused about. I guess we're not at war with Canada, okay. Or Newfoundland. We are going to win this war. It will be our doing. Okay, let's see, that's fine. We're not suffering attrition uh, because we're not at war with Newfoundland. I think we're gonna be able to, oh, what's this, what's this, what's this, what's this? Oh, we just cored a bunch of things, okay. Whew, I thought that was gonna be like, oh, you're at war with all the things now. See, they have 15 with a uh, pretty crappy leader, actually. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to be crossing a river here. This terrain is woods. So that's minus. So we're going to have a minus two. We have a three, four versus their one or two, one. So that's effectively a one. What is that? The one on the fire for them. And how much for the shock? A lot. However, we have more. Uh, maneuver, which means we can get rid of this crossing. So that's only minus one. So it's it's a two three versus a two one, which means we just do way better on the shock. I'm still concerned that by the time we fight these guys and win and yeah, here we go. What do we do? We lost. Oh man, that's a, still a lot of troops we lost. I feel like we're not winning these battles nearly decisively enough, and they're running off to. How are you able to run off there? Where are you gonna go from there? Well, we're gonna take we're gonna take Detroit. <laughs> that's just gonna be a thing that happens. Well, that's weird. <laughs> thirteen colonies exist over there. That's weird because we're the thirteen colonies. Hmm. Anyways, go away, England. We don't want your kind here. It looks like they're gonna go over here, which is fine, I guess. Um. We still have lost a lot of manpower. We're going to detach for the siege. Do we really need... Oh, I guess we do. Let's send those guys back. All right, we got that. Go back. 
We got Detroit. It's ours now. What you gonna do about it, Britain? British are... Okay, we have more manpower than the British. They have more troops than us, by a lot. But, we have more manpower. That's good news for us. Um, and currently, we only need 30... We're actually almost, um, at our cap. Like, uh, so... We could try to take some of this land. That's possible. Because we know there are tr there are British troops over there. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. What, what are you doing here? What are you? What are you doing here? Baroda? Go kill them. I think overall that was really good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, let's go back to Delaware. Uh, <laughs> I kinda wanna go check this out. I wanna go investigate here. We can march all our troops over there. I'm just worried about more British troops showing up. Hess is... Hess is... Hess, oh. <laughs> really? Really? Really, what you gotta do, Hess? Yeah, a little two-province minor that <laughs> apparently is at war with uh, rebels. Great, great job. Great Britain, your allies frighten me. What's the relative strength of the alliance? Oh man, look at that. Look at those. Look at that. Oh, that's scary. That is, hold on. That is horrendous. France, I need you! France, I'll do anything for love. I'll do anything for you. France, I'll give you my firstborn. No, I won't. I just lied. Wait, what? What? What was that? France is at war with the Papal State. Good job, France. Good job. Kill the Pope. We're not... Oh, I, I can't. I can't. I have to send all those troops now. Oh, I'm going to suffer attrition. Oh, I suffered... Oh, why are, there, why are there 18 troops there? Oh, that sucks. Can we can we attack them? Oh, that's, that's farmland. Oh, we're not going to suffer any penalties if we attack them. Oh, that's fantastic, actually. Oh, he's got a 1-4. Dang it. Where'd you get a better general? Look at those kills. Look at those kills. That's not as good. Come on, kill him. What do we got? We got, we got, again, the infantry is about the same, but he's losing more cavalry. Stack wipe, stack wipe, stack wipe, stack wipe. No, we got to take him. Dang it. And we're losing more troops. Dang it. Why didn't we get a stack wipe? That's what I wanted. Oh, come on. It's been a year. Oh, we've lost so many men. There we go, stack wipe. Yes, okay. How many troops does Britain have now? 57,000? Oh, this is gross. <laughs> this isn't, this, uh, this feels like we've had some victories, but like we're not actually winning. <laughs> if you know what I mean, we, 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 there are no British troops in the United States right now. We're actually sieging down some British colonies um, in the in in North America. Great Britain is probably in the process of sending more troops, but we've cleared the map so far. However, we're losing money. Our manpower is basically gone. Like, oh man, this is just bad. This is just bad. There are a thousand men. Go deal with that. No, nope, I don't want to look at that. I don't care what's going on over there. I care what's going on over here and only here. This is the only place I know. If you know anything about Americans, this is the only place that exists in the world. Everywhere else is a third world country. True story. That's that's what I like to see. 37 losses versus 1,000. That's great. Those are great numbers. I'm kind of curious to see how much of a war score we need in order to declare ourselves... Or end the war and be free, be independent, be our own country. This will be great. How did they, did they, hold on. Creek, Creek, have you betrayed me? You've betrayed me, Creek. Great Britain has 28 transfers. That means they can send 28,000 troops at any given moment. The fact that they haven't done that is just proof that the AI is dumb. And taking that would give us some more war score. However, 
The war goal is Philadelphia, and I feel like if we went down here and took care of this, uh, Great Britain could just send troops there. So I'm going to say nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, oh, nope. So much nope. If the British... Okay, this is what we're going to do. The British can land like 28,000 troops. If they do that, we're, we're purchasing mercenaries. That's just a thing we have to do, and we'll go into debt. That's just what's going to have to happen. We may still go into debt anyways, but right now we're still fine. We have... We, we're out of manpower. If we take any more losses, we're going to have to buy mercenaries. We're going to have to consolidate and buy mercenaries. Those are our options. At what point can we say, hey, can we just end the war? I Maybe it's just a white piece. If we get a white piece, does that mean we win? It looks like all we need is a white piece. In order to do that, we need we currently need 16 more... Uh, 16 more points. If the war goes on for another 16 months, the length of war will go down far enough to... Well, 17 months. If we wait 17 months, plus we have the positive war score going up because we control our capital. Let's see... We might be able to finish the finish this in nine months. We might at the next year, end of next year, or beginning of next year, we might be able to end the war, assuming that Britain doesn't come and bring more troops. We're getting really close, I think, because Great Britain be herping and derping. We are winning this war. We are gonna win. Oh, come on. oh, oh, that's bad. That's a bad sign. Oh no, that's a bad sign. That's a bad sign. That's a bad sign. We just need mercenaries right now. It's right the fuck now. Right the fuck now, right the fuck now. We want 10 mercenaries. All right, all y'all go there. We are losing, we are hemorrhaging money. How much of a loan can we take out? We can take 100, okay. So we can we can actually take out quite a bit. Um, it looks like they're coming to get us. But they, again, I don't think they have to, I don't think they can march on us completely. They have to go after Massachusetts, right? Oh man, I'm a little, I'm a little worried. This is, this is hills. Okay, these are fine. This is a fine place to have an engagement. If he goes into, oh, if he goes there though, no, he can't take any of this stuff until he goes and takes Massachusetts. What's ours? We got a three four. He's got a three three. Oh four four. Mm. You know what? I, okay, I have to debate this right now. What I could do? Okay, he's got twenty eight thousand troops to my thirty two thousand. He's got 5,000. Ooh, he's got more artillery than me. That's bad. I don't exactly know how sortie works. I'm thinking what I could do is sortie the day before I go into combat and see what happens. Okay, there we go. Okay, sortie. This, I'm just checking to see if this works the way I think it does. It does. Get them! Get them! Get them! Win! I am losing so many troops. Yeah, we took out a load. <laughs> of course we did. All right. They're going this way. I'm hoping they don't escape anywhere. Is my hope. Oh, what? Where the hell? How, oh, you went there? Frack you. Oh, I can't go there? What the heck? How were you able to get there? Weren't you? Oh, man. Dang it! Oh, that's so frustrating. Iroquois. I want I want military access. Grant me. Yes. Destroy the British! We're committed though. Oh man, that's so bad. That's so bad. They're going down here. Okay. We will cross the river. It will be hills again. But they Oh dang it! They got another god damn it! I want to stack wipe them. They're killing my troops. A lot. Okay, what do we got here? We got they're going to the okay. Are they unloading more troops? No. There we go. Got a stack wipe. Yes. Okay. Ah, oh, man. It's fighting. Great Britain, you're on my shit list. We have like no troops. We have 23,000 troops. Most of it's like like half of its mercenaries. We have 17 war score positive. We might be able to get some stuff out of these guys. We can get money. Game doesn't like me clicking on the money thing though. We could get lots of money. Then we can basically pay for the mercenaries that we just took. If we if this is all we need to do if this is all we need to do to win the war, this was really easy. <laughs> I don't think we should stay in this war because we have no manpower. 
So we have shortage of manpower. We're hemorrhaging money because we've hired mercenaries. And if we have the war score, we might as well take it. So, okay, we're basically ending this war now. So we could get 564 plus all that land. This is a good deal, I think. Um, taking all this. All right, let's do this. Send demands. Did we win? All right, my president, Great Britain, accepted our generous peace offer. <laughs> yes, we win. All right. The United States is its own independent country with things and whatnot. Oh, God damn it. So we did it. We did it. That was really easy. <laughs> I don't get why, why that was so hard, uh, history. That was really easy. Great Britain was a big pushover. They only sent, like, uh, how many troops? They had sent 28,000 and 17,000. That's 40,000 plus the 3,000 there. Uh, it's uh, 53, 54,000 troops. And we had half of that. And we had to hire mercenaries. But, I mean, and we cost a lot of money. But we got all that money back. And then some. We made money off that war. So, that was the Revolutionary War in a very historical, uh, that was, that was, that was very historical. That happened in real life, okay? That's what happens. So that was the end of the 4th of July. I hope you enjoyed your fireworks and everything. We're going to put some fireworks on as, as because we won. We get pew, pew, pew. It'll be great. So, yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Have a happy 4th of July.